Hello, it's Flayer here, and this game that I'm playing is a Warhammer 40k card game, and I believe I did pre-register to this game something like a few months ago, and yesterday the Google actually alerted me that the game is available, and it seems to be a little bit uh, at beta state at the moment. The campaign is starting tomorrow, and there's I don't see any ladder or rankings, maybe they open when you play more, I'm at rank 7 at the moment, but I, I don't know, there, there seems to be only uh, one versus one PvP mode at the moment, and there's no single player campaign, at least for now, maybe tomorrow, and, uh, and no visible ladder, and all, also clans are coming soon, so yeah, it's a start, it, the game just released or something like that, so that's okay, uh, at least we have uh, pretty many cards. You can see here that there are many 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 cards when you scroll this so uh, and there are eight different factions and they all have uh, different different units and different leaders and stuff like that so uh, that's at least uh, a nice and into the game itself um, I'm now playing this uh, uh, kind of human deck, I don't know what is actually called, actually I could upgrade this, yeah, okay, so once you get more um, levels you are able to unlock more slots to this deck and more points, the deck itself, uh, it has a points, so you can't just put in all the best cards, you need to balance between the cost of the card and the power of the card, for example, this my leader cost 32 points, and the marine guy here is 13 points. So, uh, so yeah, that's something you have to consider. And uh, up on the right, it shows the HP, and the combat itself has three different options. You can shoot, you can do melee attack, or you can do the psionic one which is the middle one with the skull icon. So uh, <clears throat> once you do that, your units will deal the damage they show on the, on the selected uh, attack style. For example, if I use range attack, this guy won't do any damage, but if I choose melee, it will do 15 damage. And, um, but if I choose the shooting, this will actually improve damage on the psionic attack on the next turn or next time I use them. So it's it's a strange little mechanic. It's, it's a little bit different than what we are used to see in Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone or, or some other games like this. It actually makes a solid gameplay in my opinion that I've what I have been seeing so far. So uh, let's see it in action. So uh, so you can basically do a deck with the small, small swarming units which are cheap, or you can build a deck with the large strong units. And if you do use the small cheaper ones, you will have more cards and etc. So uh, this guy is a kind of melee unit, and this is only melee. And this is melee and psionic. Um, I think I will use my own psionic unit here. And uh, my own melee guy here, and uh, this cheaper melee guy here. So I will basically lose in the middle lane. Uh, these guys are actually fighting each other on the same lane. So if I use melee attack, this guy will do 24 damage to the guy opposing. So uh, that's the that's the kind of the mechanic of the game. And once uh, the other player leader is killed, you win the game. And the leader can be deployed when you draw it, or it must be deployed when you have nothing else left. And it will always go to the middle lane. And once this guy is dead, uh, then the game is over. They all have different uh, passive skills, depending what kind of leader you are playing. And they are also pretty strong. So... Uh, they have pretty high HP, pretty high damage. This guy has 35 <laughs> melee. And if the 
uh, uh, if the shooting or melee of something like is red, it means that when you use it, your opponent will gain negative damage on the ability. So um, you can actually do harm to your opponent by doing that. Um, now if I use the melee, I will kill the two guys from the left, like this. And also, the opponent will do counter-attack. If you do melee and you don't kill the target, the target will also hit you guy with the melee. So, yeah, the mechanic is pretty simple, but it's, it's pretty nice in my opinion. It, it gives a lot of, lot of depth, actually, in the game, so it's pretty nice. But it's hard to say at this point when you have <laughs> not enough pieces to build any decks or anything like that. So it, it's kind of hard to say anything anything bigger at this point. But but you know, overall at this point I, I have been liking it. Uh, let's do a melee. And you can see it, the meters are almost full with my ranged ran and uh, psionic attack. So it means that once I, for example, land my my captain, I can do pretty high damage on the shooting ability. And also this guy can do high, high damage with the psionic attack. And I think I might be even using it on next turn to kill this guy. So uh, yeah, it will do 53 or then I might just uh, save it to the opponent boss. Well, it kind of depends. Hmm. I think I will do this. Although the left guy will hit my my guy. I have to do the melee one. I have to do because otherwise this guy was was able to kill uh, my brother Gabriel down here and this is really strong unit so I don't want to outplay myself by doing the wrong move but of course this guy can also no okay not not actually it will still be alive okay so now his leader is on the board because it's the last card he was he hasn't any other option than to play this I have still one card left and I think I'm going to actually plan this one and keep my keep my captain as last card and safe um, yeah this is really really hard hmm. if I use the rank it's disaster I, I think I have to do the melee yeah even that the opponent leader is striking 35 damage to my my marine guys so uh, but yeah at least now I'm up one card and this is almost dead it has only 8 HP of course this this is now a little bit problem I was uh, not able to kill this guy at all and now I have to deploy my leader in the middle lane and uh, I have no way to kill this guy so uh, I, I just might have to just use the melee attack and try to try to just win the damage race against the opponent leader. But this is gonna be hard. I think I might even lost this one. Yeah, because this will do 64 damage and then I'm kinda I'm dead. So uh, did it have the melee? Yeah, this melee attack will kill me, so it doesn't matter what I do. I'm one turn behind to killing the opponent and this is the this is the GG moment because now he will Oh okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still missing nine damage. But I still wonder why did he use the psionic attack? Well it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, the game is over. Yeah. He's left with the 9 HP. And yeah, that's about it. But yeah, 
the combat is actually um, pretty deep, even that it is, it, it is pretty simple, it's also pretty deep at the same time, if that makes any sense. And that's about it. The, there are not many other features in the game at the moment. There are some objectives that will change daily and um, free packs, kill pack, which requires you to kill units in the combat. And this campaign is opening tomorrow. I have to see what it is and probably make a video about it. And yeah. So stay for tuned for more and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.